Hey guys, it's a nice cool day here at Stafford Woods and I'm going to show you a little bit of the Jawbreaker Z-Flex Captain's Raptors which will be available on the Discraft website and in stores on January 19th. Let's see how they fly. So I actually only brought three discs with me today. I brought the new Captain's Raptor, a new um, Z Raptor, and just a normal zone just to give you some variety, but really specifically to show you the Captain's Raptor. First off, the color on this thing is just absurd. Like the Z-Flex uh, Jawbreaker plastic is so nice. I love the little flexes of the Jawbreaker plastic in it. The see-through, super nice. It's going to be very overstable. Um, I haven't thrown it that much, but this is kind of the chance to do it. We're here on the short tee pad of hole 10. It's about 215 feet. Normally I would throw a putter just straight at it, but this time I'm gonna try the Captain's Raptor on like a tomahawk angle. Because of the stability, it's going to pan really slow. So I have to throw it on a lot of angle to kind of encourage it to go to the ground. Oh. Well, I mean, that was fine, but you saw how that really slow pan, that's because of how overstable it is. The other thing I did forget to mention is that I am putting with uh, my own putters. I'm putting with my Lunas simply because I didn't want to make it too difficult because I had to putt with a captain's raptor or a zone or something. So we'll be putting with my Lunas, but I specifically want to show you guys how the Z-Flex Jawbreaker Captain's Raptor flies. Kind of a soft little approach here, a little too far for me to putt through these trees, but uh, get it close. Yeah, that's fine. A little bit of a wrist release just because how cold it is. Yeah, not as bad as I thought. I could have probably put it, but it's okay. There we go. That's great. So the reason I'm playing the shorts here at Stafford rather than the longs is because the Captain's Raptor is really overstable. Uh, I know it has a one turn and a four fade. That just means it's really, really overstable. I don't usually throw uh, discs that have a positive one turn, but I can't, uh, the, the, the Jawbreaker Z-Flex plastic is just so nice that it might go straight in my bag. But we're coming up here on hole 11, throwing the really overstable Captain's Raptor is just so difficult. That's so, that's a little bit why I'm throwing the, the short tee pads here. All right, so we're on hole 11. It's a 530 foot par five. One of the easier ones. I've definitely eagled this one before. Um, ultimately, with this first shot, you really want to get just straight and down toward the mound. With the Captain's Raptor, I'll definitely have to throw it on some ante because it's just going to want to dive to the right. I will also show you a comparison for the regular Z Raptors. Out of it. Oh, so I definitely pulled my line just a little bit. Um, it didn't fly as overstable as I was expecting, but now we'll go to the regular Raptor. Definitely a little more stable. Definitely more stable. That uh, Captain's Raptor shot actually surprised me a, big, a lot because I was expecting it to really want to come all the way back. I did pull my shot a little bit, but I, it just didn't come back as much. Then I gave the other Raptor like flat to a little bit of hyzer, expecting it to just push, push that hyzer, but it did the same thing. So we'll see where I am and hopefully we'll be able to get up and down for a three. So this is almost, almost the ideal position. You want to be up there a little bit more. Um, I don't really want to try the backhand with the Captain's Raptor, I think it'll fade out too early. So what I'm gonna try and do is throw a tomahawk, have it just kind of pan and come back just slightly. Oh, come on. Panned a little bit more to the right, it would have been over it. So I'm kind of stuck down in this gully. I'm gonna throw my, rap, my, uh, my zone, a little bit of Anheuser. You kind of can see the basket over there. Get up. All right, it slid up there a little bit. We'll have a putt. A little 20 footer for birdie. 
here we go. Hole 12 here only has one tee pad. It's a 243 foot shot that goes up and to the left. This is a actually a semi-decent disc for this shot. All you want to avoid is going left. Oh, it's early. Yeah, so that disc has an absolute ton of fade and I definitely did not give it enough credit going up this hill. Definitely not an easy shot from over here. It's only like 60 feet to the basket, but it's still really covered. Really, you're just laying it up from here. Yep, yep, exactly. Being down on that left side, it's not where you wanna be, but being able to get up and down for pars is fine too. Hole 13 here, 204 foot par three, just straight down this hill. I would definitely never throw a captain's raptor here. I would normally throw a zone or a soft backhand turnover shot, but hey, I wanna show this off. It would be insane to get an ace, but we'll never know. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Ah. So it's not as stable as I was expecting. I was expecting it to really kick out real quick from that ante, but uh, it's still down there. Let me give this a good run. Make sure I don't hurt myself. Go. Oof. That's okay. I'm actually kind of surprised at how not super stable this cap wrap is. But either way, hole 14, 250, 280 foot par three, kind of bends around. You can kind of see where the basket is, kind of through those trees. I'm always kind of missing um, inside, so I really want to make sure I give this some ante so it has time to come out. Oh, come on. Oh. I kicked so far left. All right, try the regular Raptor. That, it is holding it a little bit more than I thought, but let's kind of see how this goes. Oh, nose up. Ah. That was just not a good shot. Definitely kicked me into some not fun stuff over here. Still have a putt though. Oh yes, let's go. It's a good save. Good birdie. Woo! Awesome. All right, so we're on hole 15 here. Short tee pad. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna get toward that V tree all the way down there. Um, this is actually a really good test as to which one will fly, like how, how each one will fly. Um, first, we're gonna try the Captain's Raptor. <clears throat> I will throw this on a little bit of Anheuser because I know it's stable. Okay, not as stable as I thought. Wow, that got, that got down there. And then my Tour Series Raptor. Come on. Yeah. Definitely put a little bit more Anheuser on that one, but they flew about the same, surprising. So although the regular Raptor looks like it went farther, they're only about 20 feet like apart. The Raptor went a little farther just because of the stability, but the other one is only a little bit farther back, which is kind of surprising. Hopefully we can have an approach and get a birdie. So what I've learned from this Captain's Raptor is it's not as stable, but that's actually what I really want. I want something that's just a nice straight Raptor. So I'm gonna put this one a little bit of Annie and have it come all the way back, hopefully to get a birdie. Oh, okay, it got through. It was not enough ante to get all the way down though. Definitely did not think I was this close, but we'll take it. Remember, extend. Get up. Oh, that's okay. Ah, that's okay. Par is fine. All right, so we're on hole 16. It's about a 420 foot, Par four, uh, just straight ahead. This is one of the signature holes here. 
uh, because it's a hanging basket. Um, uh, again, I'm gonna try both of these Raptors just to see how they fly in comparison. First, we're gonna go Jawbreaker Z-Flex Captain's Raptor. A little bit of ante, hopefully it'll hold it the longest. Oh, I pulled that. I did pull it a little, but it's still fought out. Next is the Raptor, a lot of ante. All the way back, come on. Yeah, so my Tour Series Captain's Raptors are just way more stable compared to the Cap, the, I'm sorry, my Tour Series Raptors are, they're a little bit more stable than the Captain's Raptor. I actually would prefer that because super stable Raptors are really hard to control. The Captain's Raptor feels absolutely amazing and I absolutely love it. This uh, isn't the absolute worst position. It's, yes, it is in the OB stakes, but when I'm having fun just doing a round like this, I don't care about the OB. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of a soft run. There's only a little bit of wind left to right, so. Drop, drop. That's fine, a little too high. A little, a little bit of a tester here, not too bad. It is a little long, but there's not a ton of wind, so we should be able to get it. Yep, just like that. This basket's really tricky because with wind, obviously it's elevated, so it's gonna be a little harder. But with this, with really no wind, it's, it's a semi-easy putt. Seven, hole 17, um, I would usually throw a forehand here anyway, either flip it up through that center gap or flex it through the left gap. This one's really a bonus birdie. It's kind of difficult to get if it's a par three. If it's a par four, you can bite it off a little more easy, but you know, I still want to get down there for even an eagle putt's fine. I'm going to flex it through this left gap with the cap wrap. Not as much ante, not as much ante. Around it, around it, around it. Oh, I hit the back one I couldn't see. It was pretty perfect though. It is quite stable. Not a horrible shot, but not exactly where I want to be. I think I might go outside gap here. Yeah, like 20 feet. So I actually threw my Tour Series Z Raptor right after I threw the cap wrap. And I mean, I pured the line, got all the way down here, and I, I'll show you where it landed. I mean, it is in the most ideal position. It's like 80 feet away from the basket. It's kind of crazy. So there's, there's my lie. There's the basket. I should just not, not think about it as much because I feel like when I think about my shots, it's just, it doesn't work as well. And that's how it is with a lot of things. You try so hard, you practice, you practice, but then the mental game's not there. Big thing that I learned last year and probably this year too is you can't care as much because by caring, you're tensing up, you're not being able to throw well. But, uh, but yeah, that's definitely something that I'm trying to learn. Could definitely be a par three. I mean, I landed uh, 80 feet. Yep, let's go. I think that puts us, we sh I think that's four down. I think that's really good. So I'm actually gonna play hole, tee, hole 18 um, as the long tee, just because the short tee is a little too short for a uh, cap wrap, but this is a 285 foot. Uh, actually, it's a little farther than that because they pushed the pin back. So I would say it's closer to 330, um, even maybe farther than that. Basically, you wanna take this high gap for a forehand, turn it in and then have it fade back right at the end. Uh, cap wrap is actually my preferred, you know, I either go Raptor or Captain's Raptor on this shot anyway, so. A lot of ante. Too low. Wow, wow. So that hit a tree, kicked me left, and I should be putting, that's crazy. So I was definitely wrong. Um, <laughs> it's kinda, it was definitely short. I thought that I was up there a little more from where the tee pad was. I thought I was closer up there, 
but it's fine. Simple little upshot for the par should be fine. I usually would go zone here, but it's, it's short enough where I can just float something in there. Yep, and there's the real overstability of that cap wrap that it's known for. Obviously, I didn't throw it at full power, but it came out almost immediately. All right, just a little tap in here. Awesome. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. I had a ton of fun making it. Captain's Raptor might go straight in my bag. I used to carry a UV Raptor, and that was just so stable. I could never figure it out. This, I can figure out pretty well. So I do enjoy it. This might fill that slot. Thank you, Discraft, for sending this to me. I'll definitely, definitely be throwing this more. Uh, and remember, on January 19th, they're releasing on the Discraft.com website and also in the Cosmic Disc Golf Store here in New Jersey. So hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.